Hello everyone. Hope, you guys are doing well. Welcome to SAS Track Reviews. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel. In this video, we are going to tell you about Mozello a user-friendly website builder and an e-commerce platform using which you can create a high-performance website to start your online business without needing coding and development knowledge. It has many options with template designs in which you can make changes and customize designs to create a professional-looking website or an online storefront. So without further ado, let's get started with Mozello. Mozello is a software company founded in 2016 based in Latvia, Europe. It was created with the idea to provide a platform to those who want to take their business online but don't have geeky technical knowledge about website development. The best thing about this website builder is that it allows you to create a website for free with a subdomain naming option, where you don't need to pay anything for hosting your website. While to create a website with your own domain name, you need to upgrade to premium plans. Now, coming to the home screen of the website, there you can see the options to create a website or create an online store. Clicking on either of them takes us to the sign-up page. Here we add our email and password along with selecting an option for the query for what reason is that website created? It can be a website, online store, blog, or others. Let's select, website. On the next screen, it asks to add a brand name for which we want to create a website. After deciding on the brand name, we get options with several templates. Next, it takes us to the dashboard screen. On the left side of the screen, you can see a toolbar with several options to make edits and changes needed on the website. When clicking on the pages, we can view all the pages mentioned on the website. There you also have the option to add or remove pages as per your requirement. Also, you may create sub-pages under a page. You just need to scroll to that particular page. It will give you the option to add a sub-page or delete that page. Suppose you select a home page. You will see the option to edit the home page accordingly. If you click on Advanced Settings, it shows more options to optimize the SEO of the page by adding a relevant title, slug, title tag, meta description, and keywords. Next to that is the blog slash news section, under which you can add your blog posts, or you may share any news or updates about your business. Furthermore, there you have the settings option. When you click on it, it will take you to the page where you can take action on the comments approval on blogs. You can put it on automatically approved mode or must take approval mode. Just below that, you have the option to add your Discus account and save it. Now coming back to the main editor screen, the next tool is design. Here, you can change the template of the website, color theme, and font style. Under the address, you have the option to change the subdomain of your website. There you can make further edits to the domain name you have selected. Also, under the Get Individual Address button, you have the option to select the desired extension for your website. If you want to use the same domain you have already owned, select Use Domain I Already Owned you can upgrade your plan to claim the selected domain for your website. Coming next to the Address section, you have the extra button in the toolbar. When you click on it, you will get to the page where you have the option to integrate other apps created by Mozello. There you have. Cookie notice to inform visitors about cookies. Share buttons to add social sharing buttons on your web pages. And Gaga a tool that collects visitors' emails, runs marketing campaigns and creates pop-ups on the website. In the settings section, you may change the brand name again if you want. Moreover, you have the option to add a Google Analytics tracking it and Facebook pixel to check on the marketing part of your business. In the user account, you can add individual information about your business. Next, under the code, the users with premium membership have the option to customize their website's look by adding HTML codes in the body and head sections. Using this, you can further enhance the responsiveness of your website. The last option in the settings section is, redirects. Here, you have the option to redirect your old links to the news links of your website, and this feature is also available only to premium users. Last, in the toolbar, you have preview and publish options, using which you can preview the website before publishing anything online. Now you are ready to add relevant content to your website and post it online. I am logging out from this website to show you the process of creating an e-commerce website. Now, coming back to the Mozilla website page, select Create Online Store. On the sign-up page, log in with your email id, password, select the online store and tap on Create Website button. Select the name for your online store, and pick a template that suits well with your online front store. Just like the dashboard for website creation, the process of e-commerce site creation is the same. However, when you visit the dashboard screen, there you will find some different options in the toolbar section. Also, considering that it's an e-commerce website, here by default, you get pages, store, shipping, conditions, and contact. On each page, 
you can do the SEO process, adding a title, slug, meta description, and keyword. Under the catalog section, you can add products and categories to create your online storefront. With the free plan, you can add only up to 5 products only, with limitations to adding variants as well. If you upgrade it to premium plans, you will get more options to add more products to your inventory. In case you don't want to add your products one by one, you have export and import options, using which you can add multiple products and their details using CSV format. On the left side of the screen, under the order, you can check the number of orders. You can export order details in a CSV file. Also, you can see the order archive section to check on older orders on your e-commerce website. After that, there is a discount section where you can create new discounts on your products. To use this feature, you need to opt for the premium plan. Next is the review section, where you can check the product reviews in your catalog. At last, you have catalog settings, where you can select general options like currency to deal, number format, seller address, registration number, etc. Also, you can check delivery, payment, invoice, taxes, product filters, the checkout form, emails legal terms, API, etc. To use the full functionalities of the online store, you need to upgrade to a higher plan. The rest of the features are similar, as we have seen while creating the website. You can change the template design, web address and add extra tools to manage your online selling website. Now the online front store is created and optimized the way you want. You can check the preview and publish it online to make your e-commerce store live in front of audiences. Pricing for Mozello Premium is $10 per month quarterly and $8 per month annually. Pricing for Mozello Premium Plus is $20 per month quarterly and $16 per month annually. So this is all about Mozilla one of the best website and e-commerce builders. You can try its services for free to learn more about how it works. And after using it, make sure to comment here about your experiences. We will be coming up with more informative videos for you guys and would appreciate it if you give a thumbs up to this video and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to hear all notifications and the latest updates. See you again in the upcoming videos.